Hello guys, this is PSO Fiber Under Controller. This is commonly used uh, uh, in Sudhir and uh, Cummins gensets up to 125 kV. And uh, we do repairs of this controller. And uh, some common problem what we face, you know, uh, uh, what we face in these controllers are like display gone bad, display is not, you know, uh, 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 controller is uh, working fine but display is faded. Another one a common problem is like uh, low AC sense, high AC voltage, oil pressure, shutdown, high coolant temperature, low oil pressure. These are some common problems that we face through this controller. And uh, we have, uh, you know, this controller also has come to us as a uh, bad controller, but now we have repaired it successfully and uh, this is working well and after repairs what we do is we test it on our uh, simulator and then send to customer uh, like uh, so in order to power it up we we have supply we have connected it to our simulator and now we are powering it up it has been powered up and uh, to start it press manual first and then start button and this will show oil pressure and oil pressure will uh, you know uh, will start to come up when genset runs now the oil pressure must have reached its, its limit and genset is running the oil pressure is completely okay now and uh, ac supply is also okay battery voltage is okay battery voltage is okay no fault is in uh, is there in this genset ac supply is okay line to neutral voltage is okay line voltage is okay genset is running okay work uh, working fine so we have repaired it successfully and it is uh, it is working on you know very well so uh, these k4 about these kv ratings this uh, these kv ratings will only show when this uh, this uh, controller is connected to load now as now it is not connected not not been connected to lo any load uh, that is why it is not showing any kv ratings in or any NPL. let us see where are the We have started this controller, you know, uh, as in the, like these ampere rating and KV ratings will not show until it is uh, it is connected to load. Now we have connected, uh, you know, uh, started this controller in manual mode. Now we will connect it and uh, start it in auto. Remote start will come and auto button will get pressed, and this is working in auto mode also. This way. We have tested it in both modes, in manual mode and in auto mode also. So now we are going to stop it in auto mode. Too. When this, when this, uh, you know, uh, genset running status come, that that is why that uh, that is when that this genset is running while well. Then only this genset running LED will come to blink. And, and then this will be stable not 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 will be this uh, blinking one now we can enter the configuration mode also by pressing these two buttons and we can do the configurations as required like if you need to change the sensor sensor setting if you need to change the phase setting what you need to change you can see it here oil pressure input you can check oil, change oil pressure sensors here CIL CPWG which sensor do you want to select right and then the fault history and then the load if you can hold defaults from here you know this will reset the controller to factory mode you can test these leds from this setting alternated setup you can check the you can select the phase type whether you want to select it on three phase or on single phase two wire single phase three wire these all settings you can do and you can come out by pressing this button ct ratio also you can adjust from there only and you have successfully come out of it and now our controller is working well and for the repair of this controller PSO 500 you may reach us at uh, our whatsapp number I mentioned in the description and uh, we will provide you best of our services all the time thank you